the Prince of Egypt, Muhammad Nagib the Pharaoh. I shall walk this course like an Egyptian. Now, I know, 58-year-old Mohammed does look like a pharaoh. He's actually a retired maths teacher from Taunton. Can he make it over the first Traplonka? <laughs> no, he can't. <laughs> Which means Mohammed will be the first contestant to tackle the Steps of Terror. <laughs> oh, well, that was a bit easy. Just some steps. Right, the second Traplonka. Has this ex-teacher learned anything? No. Nothing. Headgear probably ruined the aerodynamics there. Not, not to mention his vision, I suspect. Can Mohammed actually see anything right now? Probably just as well. He's on the sucker punch. No, he can't see anything. <laughs> Poor old Mohammed really didn't see that one coming. I mean, literally didn't see it. Felt it. Visibility down to nothing now, using touch alone to find his way to the big balls. Probably just as well he, he can't see right now. Here he goes. Ah, me sphinx, that must have hurt. You see, sorry. Come on, Mo! The swinging letters of shut uh, now. What's that? It's a giant S, Mo. I know, you talk maths, but come on, that's basic stuff. It's just an S. Only the bravest shall pass the letters of shut. They require skill, flexibility, timing, and most of all, courage. Well, come on, then. Oh! Oh! Oh, well, I had all of those things, <laughs> just not necessarily in the right order. <laughs> wow, check out that scorpion kick. His heels nearly hit his head. They're not supposed to do that, are they? That's, no, they do now. So Scorpion King Mo hauls himself up that final set of stairs to finish in a hefty five minutes and 50 seconds. It was just too hard. I thought I would just walk it like an Egyptian. But hellfire, building pyramids is easy.